What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, we are back in the Iconic Studios, back with another banger, back with another weekly rotation. Yes, you already know what time it is, man. Before we get started with this weekly rotation, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and the weekly rotations. Thank y'all for watching, man. Let's get into it. Boom, Monday, your boy brought out the heat, the low key heat. I know y'all be out here acting like y'all don't mess with them sevens. Y'all like sevens, but your boy brought out that 2011, 2012, I believe it's 2012, or was it 2012, 2013, Olympic seven. And off rip, man, um, like I spoke, spoke before, the shoe did come out in 1992, um, a grail, in my opinion, I always, always wanted the For the Love of the Game 7s that had the basketball stitched on the side. But sometimes you have to uh, you have to settle for less, bro. Especially with the age of those, you never know if they're going to fall apart. Also, the yellow on those is super bad. These shoes yellow so bad. So I ain't even stressing it, though. But your boy do have the Olympic 7 from that time frame right here. A very, very, very dope shoe, dope sneaker. Um, one that I'm glad that I have in my collection, man. Monday I brought this joint out. I wore my vintage Jordan jersey with this joint, man. And off rip, man, I just think this shoe is a very, very, very clean shoe. Quick review for those who never seen the Olympic 7. Yes, it's dirty, but you do have those tribal prints on the bottom, but in red, white, and blue. Um, if you didn't know, Michael Jordan wore this in the Olympics. Um, was it the 90? I, I don't know if it was the 92 Olympics. Don't quote me on that. But he did wear these in the Olympics. That's where that whole Olympic thing comes from. On the back, you have a number nine instead of a 23 um, because he wore the number nine when he was uh, in the Olympics. So you got red and gold on the mountain peaks, white midsole, white right down the toe box area, um, white leather. The leather on this shoe isn't that great. So I don't want to go into too much details about the leather at all. Uh, you do have like your silver outline around the perforated holes, white laces, you got the blue tongue, you do have that Air Jordan right there in gold. And a lot of shoes like the Olympic Up Tempos, uh, the Charles Barkley's, a lot of them have that kind of same layout for the Olympics in that time frame. You got that red pull tab, you got that gold jump man right there, guts, uh, you have that booty red, booty red there. And again, if you didn't know, it also was designed after the Nike Hirachi. Yeah, man, very, very dope sneaker. This is what I pulled out Monday. Let's go ahead and get into Tuesday. Boom, and Tuesday, your boy brought out that Black Cement 3, that heater, baby. Stop playing, you already know what's going on. I believe these joints came out in 2018, 2017? 2018, I believe. And let me tell you, this is definitely in the top 10 shoes of all time to me. Nothing you, nothing you could tell me is greater than the Black Cement 3, bro. It's in the top 10 of all time of Jordans, in my opinion. But anyway, you already know what's going on, man. Ooh, this one right here really excites me, bro, because I remember I've had this shoe multiple times. I had the CDP pack. I had the, um, I think it was the 2011 pair. Yeah, I had the CDP P pack, and I think the ones from 2011, like twice, bro. And then I had to get this joint. I had three pairs of this, and I sold it. Don't know where my mom was at. Definitely was trying to get make some cheese or something. But yeah, man, crazy, crazy, crazy. Love this shoe, man. Classic, 88 vibes right here going on, man. This just screams uh, 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 different world. This screams uh, Spike Lee. This screams Jordan. It's just that time, man. That era. But bottom right here has that gray hits with the red hit right there. You got that Nike on the bottom, keep it OG. White midsole, which it hits a black. Got that white air unit right there. You already see what's going on, man, with that elephant print, man. Elephant print looking oh so crazy on that joint right there, man. Leather, black leather. They did very well for this shoe. People was complaining, oh, the leather, not all that. Y'all is nuts. What? Stop playing. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. That leather is plush, baby. Plush leather, tumbled leather. Love that. Um, black on the mud guard as well. Gray tongue. Red jump man right there. Red behind the tongue as well. Gray guts. 
You already see what's going on in there. You do got that Nike hit right there. Um, right down the back. The best part, baby, the Nike Air. The Nike Air really, really be the best part of this shoe, bro, because we've been waiting so long for this shoe for so long, and I'm glad I have my collection. You got that black lace, red perforated holes. That is what I wore Tuesday. Let's go ahead and get into Wednesday. Boom, and Wednesday, your boy brought out another 11, bruh. I know y'all been like, damn, this boy bringing out some of the stuff he wore last week, but I'm telling y'all, bruh, I just had to feel the, the throw on these babies right here, man, the bread 11s. This is classic. This is classic Mike right here, bro. This is this is on posters everywhere. This little shoe right here, man. Um, definitely one of the hottest shoes. I think that changed the game when it came to like, that shiny look, bro. Like, people wasn't really on that whole, like, patent leather vibe to Tinker, and Tinker really brought this out, bro. Jordan loved this joint so good, so bad, that they, Tinker said, bro, don't wear these joints yet, just chill. And what Jordan do? Bring them joints out. He actually brought out the, what you would call the Space Jam. So Jordan actually brought this out, man, and um, he brought out the Space Jams first, and then he actually brought out um, the Concords, I believe, the second game. Then later on, you will see him play in these right here, man. Quick review of the bottom, man. Hair and bone uh, is red and black. Crazy, you got that black jump, man. You got that carbon fiber right there. They did switch that up. Um, midsole is all white. Patent leather is high, that OG high cut patent leather. You got that red jump, man, right here. 23 on the back, baby. I wish they would've stitched that. Or even, I wish they had gave us the four five. I feel like we got the shoe Numerous of times, we should have got Stitch 45 on the back. That's just my opinion. Or Stitch 23 or something like that. I thought that would have been very, very dope. Um, again, Red Jumpman right there. You already know right here, the famous Jumpman Jordan right there in the center. If you didn't know, that's, that's what it stands for, Jumpman Jordan. You know, the, them fakes used to always be a problem with that, man. They never could line that joint up right down the middle. And when you pull on it, it shouldn't move. It shouldn't go higher, it shouldn't go lower. It should stay right there in that middle. That's just a little lesson for them. Some of them jokers out there that don't know too much. I remember back in the day, another thing for fakes was peaks, but they did bring it back on this version. I think this year is, what year is this? 2019, I'm tripping, it's 2019. 2019 release right here, bro. I'm tripping. 2019 or 2020? I might be bugging, what the heck? Wow, these came out in 2019, I think. I don't think these came out in 2020, this is 2019. Wow, crazy how time fly, bro. Time be flying, cuz, time be flying. But yeah, man, Bread 11s, that's what your boy brought out. Let's go ahead and get into Thursday. Boom, and Thursday, I had to kill him. I had to I had to get y'all that work on Thursday, baby. I brought out them off-white, black metallic joints. And yes, oh yes, I remember when I first saw this shoe, I had to cop. I had already made up my mind that I was gonna sell some shit to get this shoe, as soon as I saw it. I'm like, yeah, this, this is me all day. We not even finna pump fake with this shoe right here, and I believe a lot of people slept on this shoe, thought this shoe was pretty trash, and when I got it in hand, I felt it was the right thing. Um, I paid, I got it, didn't even hesitate to grab this joint, and the first time I wore it was to the Off-White um, exhibit in Atlanta. You know, shout out to that, man. That was a very dope experience. That boy Virgil be talking some shit outside of this fashion world. Y'all just don't be really peeping, but that boy, that boy really snapped with this joint. Quick review, man, you see the bottom, it's worn but it still has that old vintage look anyway, so it didn't matter. It's not like this shoe gonna ever look beat because it already has that vintage weather look. On the bottom, you got that golden sole. You got that red jump, man. You got that clear area that says Nike, which I love that little spot right there. Work your way to the midsole. Midsole is mostly black. You got this uh, gray and speckled shark teeth area, which is dope. Uh, midsole uh, air unit area, I think, is white, I believe. Is that white or cream? I can't tell from here. Um, upper is all muslin, all muslin. Um, gifting the curse, it is looser on the shoe, but sometimes feels a little bit weird because of that. Um, I would say comfort-wise, six out of 10. I can't wear them, like, I could wear them all day, but my, my feet be kind of hollering at me. You got the black laces, shoelaces right there you already know that off-white touch inside right here it does have that 
you know, them words, you already know that Oregon, that stamp, man. That stamp that just signifies off-white. You do have the reflective tongue with the red jump, man. And right here on the back, man, you got that Nike Air, just to give it that OG touch. Uh, you also have, um, what they call this? The, um, uh, look, 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 look. what they call this joint, man? I'm tongue-tied. You got the lace lock. What am, what am I bugging on? You got the lace lock right here. That, it's like kind of like a cream lace lock or clear uh, lace lock with the Nike red here right there. All around good shoes, man. You got the holes on the side, you know, giving it an off-white touch, man. But that is what I wore for Thursday. Let me go ahead and show y'all what I wore Friday. Boom. Yeah, I was thirsty, y'all. I just got this shoe last week, and I was thirsty. I told y'all in that video I was going to throw these on. And yes, your boy brought out the Air Jordan Bordeaux. I believe from 2016, I always forget. 2015, it was production 2015, so 2015, 2016, either or. But anyway, yeah, I brought these joints out, man. I already did a review on this joint. Quick, quick little rundown on these joints. You see the tribal prints on the bottom with the, the, uh, the Bordeaux hits. Got your gold, your greens, your gold, midsole, mostly black. It's supposed to be like a charcoal gray, but it's dark black, black on the mountain peaks. You got your gray and black. I would call it new buck or I think they was trying to give that 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 um durabuck feel to it, but it's definitely like a new buck. You got your burgundy coming up the actual um tongue. Also, you got those tribal hitch right here on the tongue as well, where it says Air Jordan. Hopefully y'all can see that and that's looking really good. Um, then you have the burgundy jump man right there. And on the back, you got that seven with the 23. Like I said, man, if you know that knowledge, Olympics, you're going to have that nine for the Olympics. And then you're going to have that 23 for Jordan, man. And again, the shoe came out in 1992, the year I was born. Yeah, man, definitely a dope shoe. I ain't going to talk too much about this, man. I just want y'all to see that on feet. And um, we're going to go ahead and get him a Saturday. Boom, we have it here. The Ken Griffey. Junior, Air, Max. Yeah, yeah, man. I had to bring this joint out, man. The Air King Griffey. Um, very, 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 very fire shoe. Screams 90s. Just screams my style. Screams my world that I love to be in. And um, I always wanted this shoe. Did not get this shoe back in high school. And when it came out, I pulled the trigger without hesitations. Boom, that bottom area is too crazy, looking very dirty because I have worn these and will continue to wear these. Very fire little design on the bottom with that flame baseball. Got your Nike hit right there. You got your teal or turquoise hits right here. Um, he did used to play for the, I always say their name wrong, like Maniers or Manners. Maybe it's Manners. But yeah, he played for them, so that's what this kind of colorway is significant to. It's supposed to be like a fresh color, a fresh water colorway. Um, it is another freshwater colorway um, that is mostly just all fresh, uh, fresh water and then black with the white hits. But this is the OG right here. You got that black swoosh right there. You got your little red hit right there. I love to wear my red hat with that because it's like the only little red hit. So when I throw on a red hat, man, it, it definitely goes well with it. Um, right here on the tongue as well, you have that Nike hit with that white swoosh with the red outlining. Um, you do have 24 on the side because that was his number. And um, got that nice, nice Nike right there on the back, man. Outlining that teal or turquoise, whatever color you want to call it. Black nylon tongue, nylon. Um, I would say nylon. I don't know what you want to call this tongue. Anyway, but yeah, I feel like this one kind of got that same design like the Hirachi too, because it got that same kind of like booty lining, like a Hirachi. So I don't know if this kind of was inspired, inspired by that as well. I'm not sure, but I love that. Again, I love what they did with these shoes, man, because they was taking a risk. They was being very creative. You already know the actual air unit is teal or that, that fresh water colorway. And I think they really did their thing with this shoe. Glad they re-released it. I did have the royal blue colorway, but I got rid of it. Um, I personally just wasn't going to wear it, man. I love the shoe, but really I think the only other pair of these I want is the Cincinnati red joints. I don't need any other colorway, so I'm probably going to just chill and just stay with this joint right here. So that was Saturday, man. Let's jump into Sunday. Boom, and last but not least, Sunday, your boy brought out the Air Jordan 3 True Blue. And again, your boy been kinda thirsty with getting these shoes in. 
I ain't been wasting no time to throw these joints straight to feet. They usually say if you really love a shoe, um, you're gonna usually wear it right away. Um, and that's kind of high end where I like the OG colorways. I don't really hesitate to waste no time. When I like a shoe, I like a shoe and I'm like, man, I'm thirsty to throw it on, I'm gonna throw it on. Um, but yeah, man, off rip, you already know what's going on. This is the True Blue 3. I already did like a little unboxing because I did copy the joint from eBay. Uh, you do got your red hit there, the gray outlining. Red Nike, uh, red Nike lining right there on the bottom. Midsole is blue, that true blue. Um, you do have your white uh, air unit. Elephant print, love the air elephant print, man. I know we was talking about the racer blue this weekend um, in my reviews, but the racer blue just, it was a dope colorway. It had that OG feel, but this just me. The 3M was just too wonky. I like what it was though. Like I don't want to take away from that shoe because the 3M, it's a dope concept. I just didn't like how it looked on the shoe. That's just my opinion. But you know, I'm glad everybody was able to hit. It didn't seem like it was a hard shoe to get. So I'm glad who, to the people that did want it, I'm glad you got it. But me, man, I'm just going to stick to these OG colorways. Um, you do have that um, elephant print right there by the uh, aglets or eyelids, whatever you want to call it. You got that red right there as well by the eyelids. Red jump man, right there on the tongue. Behind the tongue, you have that red hits, blue on the guts, and then the inside you got that Nike Air. You already know what's going on, man. Nike Air in the insole, Nike Air on the back, man. That's why we really love it. Y'all let me know, man. This shoe right here, man, definitely a shoe. I'm glad I got in my collection. I'm glad I went a half size up because this shoe runs tight. My other threes, I'm fine. Like my um my Air Jordan 3 uh, black cements, they perfect. But this shoe right here, it run tight, man. So I'm glad I went that half size up because I was like comfortable throughout the day. And it didn't hurt. I'm, if I probably got that 10 and a half, I probably would have been in some pain, y'all. So I'm glad I went that half size up in this specific shoe. I believe this came out in 20, uh, 2016, man. Damn, a lot of heat dropped in 2016. OG shit that people wasn't really feeling, but yep. I pulled it out, man. So I want to hear from y'all, bro. What y'all think about the shoes that I wore this week, man? Do you think the shoes that I pulled out was heat, height? I think I brought out a good mix. I brought out a little bit of the old school, a little bit of the new school, a little bit of stuff that's not hype, a little bit of stuff that is hype. And I'm fine with that, man. I'm not really big on, I'm not too big on wearing a lot of crazy hype shoes all the time. I'd rather bring out the OG stuff and just kind of leave that hype stuff for like little special moments in my life, man. So um, that's it, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this week's weekly rotation. Was it hot? Was it not? Do you see yourself wearing any of these shoes or getting any of these shoes? Do you have any of these shoes in your collections? I wanna hear back in the comments, man. I wanna hear down in the comments what y'all thought about it and if y'all have any of these shoes, man. But you already know what's going on, man. Before we go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching, man. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.